In this tutorial session we shall see the structural analysis and design for RCC framed building by creating data using a line diagram of the structure in three dimension. In case the line diagram is not available, then user has to create the entire structure geometry manually, which is quite tedious for large building structures. So, it is always advised to make a line drawing of the building structure in three dimension by using a CAD software. Click on the desktop icon Astro Pro Release 17, the main screen of Astro Pro is displayed. Select Astro Pro Main Screen Menu Item CAD Viewer. Then Astro Pro Viewer. The CAD window is opened. Select CAD Window Menu Item File Open to open a drawing file either in DWG or DXF format. Select the file from Path Desktop then Astro Pro Structure Design, then Structure Drawing DWG. Click on Open. User may view the line drawing by selection CAD menu item rotate 3D. After viewing close the CAD window. Select Astro Pro main screen menu item possess design. Then select working folder. Click on browse and. Select the working folder as desktop Astro Pro structure design, click on OK. Select Astro Pro Main Screen Menu Item Possess Design. Then Structure Design. Then RCC Framed Building Design. The window for RCC Framed Building Design opens, Current Selected tab is Pre-Process, then Data File. Select Menu Item File Open, then Structure Model Drawing File to open a drawing file either in DWG or DXF format. Select the file from Path Desktop Astro Pro Structure Design Structure Drawing DWG. Click on Open. The drawing is displayed. The current selected tab is Pre-Process. Then Geometry. User may view the line drawing by selection CAD menu item rotate 3D and by clicking on the drawing for rotating. The scroll wheel of mouse may be used for zoom and pen. The joint and member numbers are shown in the drawing. The joint coordinates and member connectivities are extracted from the drawing and are listed on the left side of the window. Next. By clicking on a member user may get the corresponding details of joints at either end. Next. Select the tab properties. Adjust the full drawing by reducing the size of the drawing. Click mouse button at two diagonally opposite corners outside the drawing to select all the members of the drawing. Next. Click on the button Add Under Section Properties. The dialog box comes for entering input of member section sizes or properties. The option on selected members is currently selected, the member numbers are displayed as 1 to 1050. Change the selection to on selected columns. The member numbers are displayed as 1 to 392. Enter input in YD as 0.4 and in ZD as 0.6. Click on button Add Data. Change the selection to on selected beams. The member numbers are displayed as 393 to 1050. Enter input in YD as 0.3 and in ZD as 0.5. Click on button Add Data, click on button Close. The original window is back. The two entered section properties are listed for all columns and all beams of the building structure. By clicking on each of these two items the respective members are highlighted in the drawing.
Next, select the tab constants to define the material properties of the building structure members. Click on button add. The dialog box comes for entering input of member material properties and with default data as concrete for all members of the structure. Click on button add data. The original window is back. The entered material properties is listed for all columns and all beams of the building structure. Next. Select the tab supports to define the supports for the structure. Adjust the full drawing by reducing the size of the drawing. Click mouse button at two diagonally opposite corners outside the lowest joints in the structure drawing to select all the joints at the base of the structure. Next. Click on the button add. The dialog box comes for entering input for support conditions and with default data as fixed. Support type for display joints 1 to 56 at the base of the structure. Click on button add data. Next, select the tab loading. Rotate 3D and adjust for the full view of the structure in the display. Click on the button add under define load case. The dialog box comes for entering input load case number and load title with default inputs. Change load title as dead load. Click on button add load case. Select item joint weight under section define load. Click on the button add. The dialog box comes to define joint weights. This weights are by wall loads by reducing average opening in the walls for doors and windows. These wall loads are applied on beams as uniformly distributed loads. And finally shifted to joints at either end of the beams as vertical loads. By defining a factor for general reduction in wall loads for doors and windows, unit weight of wall material. User may click on button calculate structure joint weight. The height of wall will be taken as floor to floor heights. Length and width will be taken from the relevant beam supporting the wall load. The joint numbers and respective wall weights are listed in the dialog box. Click on button add load, click on button close. The original window is back. The list of all joint wise weights are listed for the structure on the left side panel in the tab window. Select item member load under section define load. Click on the button add. The dialog box comes to define member load. There are two tabs member load and linear load. Currently CellSit tab is member load. Member numbers are mentioned as 393 to 1050. Load type is uniform force. Load value is mentioned as minus 5.0 for the live loads on the structure. Click on button add load. Click on button close. The original window is back. The list of all member wise uniformly distributed loads are displayed on the left side panel in the tab window for the live loads on the beam members. Select item floor load under section define load. Click on the button add, the dialog box comes to define floor load. Data are entered for limits or ranges in Y, vertical, X and Z directions. The load intensity for load of floor slab on one or both sides of the beam members. The data is entered for two sets of floor loads in this tutorial example.
Click on button add load, click on button close. The original window is back. The list of all member wise floor loads are displayed on the left side panel in the tab window for the floor slab loads on the beam members. To modify a floor load, user may select the particular floor load in the list on the left side panel. Click on the button Edit. The dialog box comes with the current data. User may modify the data as desired, click on the button Change. This will close the dialog box and the data is modified in the list in the left panel of tab window. The process may be repeated for any number of times as desired. Next. The check mark is placed in the item for seismic force. Seismic coefficient is given as 0.12. In case user want to calculate the value for seismic coefficient based on the zone of the country then may click on button help to get the calculations in MS Excel worksheet. Otherwise the applicable value may be entered. In demo version user cannot change the value, a common value ranges from 0.18 to 0.35. This value is similar to percentage of vertical loads on each joint of the structure, which will act as horizontal force on the joints during earthquake. Therefore the analysis will be done in two stages. The vertical joint forces will be read from the first stage output, by multiplying each of these vertical joint forces with the seismic coefficient the horizontal forces will be computed and will be added in the analysis input data file for the second stage analysis for seismic forces in addition to the all apply joint weights, member loads, and floor loads. Place check marks in the boxes for Perform analysis Print load data. Print static check. Print analysis all. Next. Select the tab process under the current tab structural analysis. Click on button update analysis input data. As the dialog box comes. Select the working folder locations. Type the file name as structure input data and click on button save. The updated data is created and saved in the working folder and a message is displayed. Click on button open analysis input data. This will open the latest updated analysis input data file in Notepad. User may take printout of this file or may save in a different location with a different name. After watching the complete data file, close the notepad. Click on button process analysis for first stage analysis. The dialog box comes for user data interface. Click on button proceed and wait. As the process is over the number of load cases for this analysis is displayed as 1. Click on button OK. Next. 
dialog box comes to start the analysis process. Click on button proceed. As the process is over the dialog box comes with message about analysis output file. Click on button OK. Next. The dialog box comes for user's desire to run second phase of analysis with seismic forces. Click on button Yes. Next. The dialog box comes for the inputs relevant to seismic analysis, the direction of forces etc. Let the default data be acceptable for the current tutorial. And click on button Add. Next. Click on button Create Seismic Analysis Input Data. After necessary calculations and adding seismic force data in the analysis input file for the second stage of analysis. Click on button view seismic analysis input data. This will open the analysis input data file in notepad with latest updated with seismic forces. User may take printout of this file or may save in a different location with a different name. Load case 1 is for user defined loads in the first stage. Load case 2 is for seismic load EQX. Load case 3 is for seismic load EQZ. Load case 4 is combination of load case 1 and load case 2. And load case 5 is combination of load case 1 and load case 3. All with multiplying factor, by default 1.0. After watching the complete data file, close the notepad. Click on button Process Analysis for second stage analysis. The dialog box comes for user data interface. Click on button Proceed and wait, as the process is over the number of load cases for this analysis is displayed as 5. Click on button OK. Next. Dialog box comes to start the analysis process, click on button proceed. As the process is over the dialog box comes with message about analysis output file. Click on button OK. Next. The analysis output will be displayed on the screen for its viewing by the user. After watching user may click on button view analysis report file. This will open the analysis report file in notepad with member and joint forces with effects of seismic forces. 
user may take printout of this file or may save in a different location with a different name. After watching the complete data file, close the notepad. Next, select the tab post process under the current tab structural analysis. The sub tab forces with list of joint forces are displayed in the left side panel of the tab window with structure view in the right side panel. User may view the list of various forces obtained from the analysis result. Next select the tab load deflection, the node, or joint wise translations and rotation on three axes will be displayed. Select load case 1 for translations from the analysis output. Type factor as 101. Rotate 3D to see the deflected shape under the applied forces. Select load case 2 for translations from the analysis output, type factor as 501. Rotate 3D to see the deflected shape under the applied forces. Select load case 3 for translations from the analysis output, type factor as 501. Rotate 3D to see the deflected shape under the applied forces. Select load case 4 for translations from the analysis output, type factor as 501. Rotate 3D to see the deflected shape under the applied forces. Select load case 5 for translations from the analysis output, type factor as 501. Rotate 3D to see the deflected shape under the applied forces. Next, select the tab max force. The member wise forces for bending moment, torsion, axial force, and shear forces will be displayed. These forces are the maximum values of all the load cases, as obtained from the analysis output. Next, select the tab forces diagrams. The member number and load case wise forces for bending moment and shear forces will be displayed. Next, select the tab general data related to the design of various structural members. The window displays the values of unit weight of concrete. 
Unit weight of steel reinforcement bars. Unit weight of wall material, weights for different diameters of reinforcement steel bars and various floor elevations. User may change the data and must click on button update data. Next. Select the tab floor slab design. This design is related to the complete building structure. In case user wants to design an individual floor slab. Then user has to put a tick mark in the checkbox for design individual slab. Here the design will be done for the building structure and not for an individual slab. Select a slab panel the user has to select all the beams surrounding the slab panel. Click on button proceed and a new window will appear with various default data is provided for better understanding about the design input and the structure drawing on the right side display. The currently selected floor level is 1.5 meter, click on button get floor beams. Click mouse on all beams surrounding the slab panel in clockwise manner. To cancel the selection user may press the escape key from the keyboard. Next. Select type of panel as two adjacent edges discontinuous. Next. Click on button process design. The design will be done and the message comes giving folder location for the file slab design report.txt, click on button OK. The design report file opens in notepad. User may take print of the report or may save as a different file in a selected folder. The report contains the design summary, bill of quantity and various tables used in the design at the end of each design. The design process may be repeated for the design of the next slab panel. For all next slab designs the report file will be appended with each design report. By clicking inside a slab panel the associated beam member numbers are displayed in the box above the drawing. The various slab design process may be repeated for another floor level by selecting from the list in the combo and by clicking on button get floor beams.
Finally to close the design window. Next. Select the tab beam design. This design is related to the complete building structure. In case user wants to design an individual beam, then user has to put a tick mark in the checkbox for design individual beam. Here the design will be done for the building structure and not for an individual beam. All the default data is provided for better understanding about the design input. Click on button proceed. The next window comes with various design detail data for all the beams each floor level wise. By putting tick mark in the check boxes user may select the beams to be designed. For continuous beams all the member numbers are shown. Bending moments and shear forces at joints are taken from the analysis results and at spans are calculated by considering the load data mentioned in the analysis. Click on the button process design to design all the selected beams. As the design of a beam is done it is highlighted with green color. In case the design fails it is highlighted with red color. In that case the beam size and or reinforcements are to be increased or higher grade of concrete or steel are to be used. As the design process is over. The message comes mentioning about the folder location of the output file beam design report.txt. Click on button OK. Next. The design report is opened with notepad, user may view print or save with a different file name. The beams are designed each floor level wise, at each floor the beams are given names as B1, B2, and so on. There are design summary and bill of quantity at the end of design of each beam. User may click on button modify values in selected members, as the dialog box comes. User may change the design data as desired and click on button apply. Next close the dialog box. Finally to close the design window. Next. Select the tab column design. This design is related to the complete building structure. In case user wants to design an individual column. Then user has to put a tick mark in the checkbox for design individual column. Here the design will be done for the building structure and not for an individual column. All the default data is provided for better understanding about the design input. Click on button proceed. The next window comes with various design detail data for all the columns in the entire structure. By putting tick mark in the check boxes user may select the columns to be designed. Each column is continuous through various floors with the member numbers as shown. Bending moments about X and Y axis of the cross section and axial forces at joints are taken from the analysis results. User may click on button modify values in selected members, as the dialog box comes. User may change the design data as desired and click on button apply. Next. Close the dialog box. Click on the button process design to design all the selected columns. Every time a single column is designed and user will be asked by message to continue. Click on yes. Next. 
the dialog box will come to take input about reinforcement arrangements equally in two or four sides of the cross section. Select two sides as the six number of rebars cannot be equally distributed in four sides. Click on proceed. Next, the interaction diagram comes for P by FCK value to be obtained from the diagram for calculated values of PU by FCK into B into D and MU by FCK into B into D square and to be typed in the box. Click on process. Next. The interaction diagram comes for MUY1 by FCK into D into B square. Value to be obtained from the diagram for calculated values of PU by FCK into B into D and MU by FCK into B into D square and to be typed in the box. Click on process. Next. The interaction diagram comes for MUX1 by FCK into B dash into D dash square value to be obtained from the diagram for calculated values of PU by FCK into B into D and MU by FCK into B into D square and to be typed in the box. Click on process. As the design of a column is done it is highlighted with green color. In case the design fails it is highlighted with red color. In that case at the end of the design, all failed columns are to be redesigned. Sizes and or reinforcements are to be increased or higher grade of concrete or steel are to be used for those columns. In the design process, the above four steps are to be repeated for the design of all other selected columns. As the design process is over the message comes mentioning about the folder location of the output file column design report.txt. Click on button OK. Next the design report is opened with notepad. User may view, print or save with a different file name. The columns are designed as each single column continuous through each floor level. The columns are given names as C1, C2, C3, and so on. There are design summary and bill of quantity at the end of design of each column. After viewing close the design report. By selecting any particular column user may open the respective design report by removing tick mark from all columns, by putting tick mark in a particular column and by clicking on button open reports for selected members. The design report is opened in notepad, after viewing user has to close the report. Finally to close the design window. Next. Select the tab staircase design. This design is related to the complete building structure. In case user wants to design an individual stair slab. Then user has to put a tick mark in the checkbox for design individual staircase. Here the design will be done for the building structure and not for an individual staircase. In between each two floors there are two stairways slabs and a landing slab in between. All the default data is provided for better understanding about the design input. Click on button proceed. The next window comes with various design detail data for all the stair slabs at each floor level wise. By putting tick mark in the check boxes user may select the stair slab to be designed. User may click on button modify values in selected members, as the dialog box comes. User may change the design data as desired and click on button apply. Click on the button process design to design all the selected stair slabs. As the design of a stair slab is done it is highlighted with green color. In case the design fails it is highlighted with red color. In that case the size and or reinforcements are to be increased or higher grade of concrete or steel are to be used for those stair slabs. 
as the design process is over the message comes mentioning about the folder location of the output file staircase design report.txt. Click on button OK. Next. The design report is opened with notepad. User may view, print or save with a different file name. The stair slabs are designed each floor level wise. There are design summary and bill of quantity at the end of design of each stair slab. Finally to close the design window. Next. Select the tab foundation design. There are three types of foundations available to design. These are, isolated footing, pile foundation, and raft foundation. The current design is for isolated footing. This design is related to the complete building structure. In case user wants to design an individual foundation, then user has to put a tick mark in the checkbox for design individual foundation. Here the design will be done for the building structure and not for an individual foundation. All the default data is provided for better understanding about the design input. Click on button proceed. The next window comes with various design detail data for all the foundations in the entire structure. By putting tick mark in the check boxes user may select the foundation to be designed. Each foundation is connected with a particular column. Maximum bending moments and axial forces at column bases are taken from the analysis results. User may click on button modify values in selected members, as the dialog box comes. User may change the design data as desired and click on button apply. Next close the dialog box. Click on the button process design to design all the selected footings. As the design of a footing is done it is highlighted with green color. In case the design fails it is highlighted with red color, in that case at the end of the design. All failed footings are to be redesigned, sizes and or reinforcements are to be increased or higher grade of concrete or steel are to be used for those footing. As the design process is over the message comes mentioning about the folder location of the output file isolated foundation design report.txt. Click on button OK. Next the design report is opened with notepad. User may view, print or save with a different file name. The footings are given names as F1, F2, and so on. There are design summary and bill of quantity at the end of design of each footing. After viewing close the design report, by selecting any particular footing user may open the respective design report by removing tick mark from all columns, by putting tick mark in a particular footing and by clicking on button open reports for selected members. The design report is opened in notepad, after viewing user has to close the report. Finally to close the design window. Next. The current selected tab is foundation design. The current design is for pile foundation. This design is related to the complete building structure. In case user wants to design an individual pile foundation. Then user has to put a tick mark in the check box for design individual pile foundation. Here the design will be done for the building structure and not for an individual pile foundation. All the default data is provided for better understanding about the design input. Click on button proceed. The next window comes with various design detail data for all the pile foundations in the entire structure. By putting tick mark in the check boxes user may select the pile foundation to be designed. Each pile foundation is connected with a particular column. Maximum bending moments and axial forces at column bases are taken from the analysis results. 
user may click on button modify values in selected members, as the dialog box comes. User may change the design data as desired and click on button apply. Next close the dialog box. Click on the button process design to design all the selected pile foundations. As the design of a pile foundation is done it is highlighted with green color. In case the design fails it is highlighted with red color, in that case at the end of the design. All failed pile foundations are to be redesigned. Sizes and or reinforcements are to be increased or higher grade of concrete or steel are to be used for those pile foundations. As the design process is over the message comes mentioning about the folder location of the output file pile foundation design report dot text. Click on button OK. Next. The design report is opened with notepad, user may view. Print or save with a different file name. There are design summary and bill of quantity at the end of design of each pile foundation. After viewing close the design report. By selecting any particular footing user may open to respective design report by removing tick mark from all pile foundations, by putting tick mark in a particular pile foundation and by clicking on button open reports for selected members. The design report is opened in notepad. After viewing user has to close the report. Finally to close the design window. Next. The current selected tab is foundation design. The current design is for raft foundation. This design is related to the complete building structure. In case user wants to design an individual raft foundation. Then user has to put a tick mark in the checkbox for design individual raft foundation. Here the design will be done for the building structure and not for an individual raft foundation. All the default data is provided for better understanding about the design input. In case of the building having rectangular shape in floor plan the each row of columns are to be selected at a time and is to be repeated for all the rows of columns in the floor plan. In case of the building having a non-rectangular shape in floor plan the larger rectangular part is to be selected for the design of the raft foundation and will be applicable for the entire building structure. In this situation each row of columns are to be selected at a time and is to be repeated for all the rows of columns in the larger rectangular part in the floor plan and the rest of the area of the floor plan is to be ignored. In this tutorial the building is of L shape in the floor plan. So the longer part of the floor plan will be considered for the design. And the rest of the floor plan is ignored. After selecting a row of columns in the larger rectangular area. Click on button next. Repeat the process for selecting each row of columns in the longer rectangular area. Upon selecting the rows by clicking mouse button on two diagonally opposite corners of a row of columns. And clicking on button next. The various details will be displayed in the boxes on the left side panel of the window. Click on the button process design to design the raft foundations. As the design process is over the message comes mentioning about the folder location of the output file raft foundation design report .txt. Click on button OK. Next. The design report is opened with notepad. User may view, print or save with a different file name. There are design summary and bill of quantity at the end of design raft foundation. After viewing close the design report. Next. Select the tab is bill of quantity. For each structural item there are two sets of buttons create. And open. 
user first has to click on button create and then on button open. Next, the current selected tab is Drawings. At the start the user has to click on button Create Drawings and wait for some time. As all the design drawings are created the message will come informing about the drawings. User may click on individual buttons to open a set of drawings in the Astra Pro CAD viewer. As the drawings are opened with a list on the left side. User may select a drawing from the list to display. User may use mouse scroll wheel to zoom or pan the drawing. The drawings may be saved as DXF to open in other CAD softwares or to print. In trial version of Astra Pro the saving or printing of drawings are not permitted. After viewing the complete set of drawings for a particular item the viewer is to be closed. Next user may click on another button to open a related set of drawings in the Astra Pro CAD viewer.
This is the end of this tutorial session for the analysis and design of RCC framed building with bill of quantities and complete set of construction drawings. Finally for analysis and design the various files for input data, reports, drawings, force diagrams are stored inside the user's working folder, as selected by the user at the start.